This is just a brief intro to graph vocabulary. So trees can only have a single parent. But if I have a graph, then a node can have multiple parents. Okay, so that's the only difference between trees and graphs, and that's going to make interesting things happen because we can have loops like we have here between 1, 2, and 6. There are two main types of graphs, and this vocabulary is important. We can have a directed graph and an undirected graph. So Twitter is an example of a directed graph. We'll look at that now. So Obama is one of the top tweeters, I think is what you'd say. Um, so there's a lot of people following him, and it's, by, it's only a single direction. So just because I'm following Obama doesn't mean Obama's following me. So here the nodes are the Twitter users, and the edges indicates following. And again, the arrow or the direction of the arrow matters. So Twitter, follow, Obama can follow other people, and other people can follow others of, Twitter, of Obama's followers. So this is Facebook's friend wheel. Here the nodes are Facebook users, and the edges around the circle are the friendship, so showing which of my friends are friends with each other. Facebook is an example of an undirected graph, so if I'm friends with someone, they are also friends with me, instead of the Twitter uh, example where I can follow someone without them following me. A map can be an example of a graph. Actually, lots of things can be an example of a graph. But in the map example, we could think of nodes as airport ports. Here's the map of where Southwest flies to from San Diego. And here the edges are flights. We can also have what's called a weighted graph. So here, you can imagine the edge these flights have a distance or a flight cost or travel time associated with them. So we can have additional information about each edge, which is, a, is called generically a weight. So the important vocabulary is directed and undirected graphs, weighted and unweighted graphs. So we looked at Twitter and Facebook as unweighted graphs, and we can look at flights as directed, weighted graphs, and maybe interstates could be a good approximation of undirected, weighted graphs, where maybe that weight is their distance.